I think it looks good. Good, okay. Bingo! Bingo. We just finished spray painting them and we're back inside. As you can see, we used fast spray, black and white, to spray paint our tumblers. These are gonna be our first three test tumblers that we try. This is gonna be our first one that we try today because um, my cousin is going to be leaving very soon. And these two will be for another video. As we saw in a lot of YouTube videos, they twisted the bag in the inside, so as well as no paint will get in the inside. This is the epoxy that we're going to be using. We got it from Hobby Lobby. And here are some of the alcohol inks that we got from Hobby Lobby too. It's always good to have an adult around when mixing the epoxy, so I'm gonna have my dad, Joe, come in and help. All right, so like Maddie said, if you're a kid and you're doing this on your own, you wanna have a parent with you to do this part. All right, so one problem that we ran into is whenever we opened up this box of epoxy right here, it didn't come with the measuring cup that it was supposed to come with, that one right there. So we, had to, we ran into Walmart real quick. We picked up some cups. We got a bunch of them, and we're gonna go ahead and start filling this up. All right, so like Madison said, with this tumbler right here, all we did was we had the cap, screwed it on the in, we screwed it in to keep the paint, the spray paint from going on the inside. What we're gonna do with this is my niece wants a witch tumbler. She likes witches for some reason, so I'm gonna do my best to do something on this. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do, but is it gonna play out? I don't know. We'll see. This is gonna be our first tumbler that we do, so let's see how it works. So we're just gonna measure these out the best we can because we don't have the measuring cup, like I said. One part to one part. So while Madison mixes that for two minutes, I just wanna show you how I picked up this heat gun right here. A lot of people use the heat gun whenever they doing this epoxy stuff to blend their colors together. So I haven't done one yet. I see everybody else do it, so I picked one up. We're gonna give it a try. That one right there, I picked up. It's a little cheapy one. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. All right, so we got the epoxy mixed up. It looks like it's ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some inside of these so I can put some alcohol inks inside of them and add some glitter to it. So as we are putting it up here, it's gonna try to give the illusion of a, of a galaxy. So whenever we get it to come down, We'll get it to fade into something different. I have this I have this vision in my head of what we want to make it look like. Is it gonna happen? We don't know. This is our first time, like I said. So let's give it a shot and see how we're gonna do this one with plum. So I wanna make this look like a galaxy. So galaxy will have some pink, some purple. So we got plum. We're gonna have to throw a little bit of white in there. So we're gonna throw some black. Let's see what magenta looks like. All right, so now what I want to do also is I want to add a little bit of glitter to each one of these. So whenever the, we put it on there, um, it's going to give it that look of the sparkly with the stars or whatever. So we're going to go with the magenta. We're going to go with the, we got the onyx color for the black. And for the white, we're going to add some crystal diamonds in there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding this. Well, actually, the first thing we're gonna do is turn it on. Maddie, you pour it on there while I spin it up. Okay, that's good. We're both learning. Right. It's okay, just let it. Just making sure that we got the whole cup covered as we're doing this. And we got some little bubbles in here, but that's okay. We'll get those out in a little bit. With the heat gun, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some of this black on there and see what happens. Throw some of this blue in there. Pink. 
go down a little bit, go like to like right here. All right, so here's our tumbler. We we're going, we we're going for a witch theme, so we try to make it look like a storm going on or a galaxy, something trippy up on top, and as it came down to like a sky or something. So, I mean, it looks okay. It's our first tumbler that we've ever done. Mine, Madison. We gave it our best shot. We did what we could. Um, I'll tell you what we did do wrong is we mixed way too much epoxy. But it's okay it's a learning experience that we're going through we got two other ones this one right here is going to be for madison it's going to be hufflepuff it's not going to be any alcohol ink. it's just going to be glitter so we're going to knock that one out later on after we finish this one we're going to let it cure good thing i had this right here because i did have bubbles so when i had a bubble I was able to do that and the bubble would go away like it just did right away so what we're going to do is we're going to let this thing cure uh, I guess it takes 24 hours, so I guess we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to let it rotate. Leave some comments down below of something that I did that you know I should have done that I didn't do. Let us know. As you can see down here, um, a lot of it did drip, but like I said, we filled up the cup. I shouldn't have filled it up that much. I mean, hey, we it's our first time ever doing something like this. It's not like we're going to be pros the first time we're doing this. Like, like, like he said, if you have any suggestions of like what we did wrong or what we could have done that was better, you know, we would love to hear from you guys about that. Because, you know, we could always use some advice. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to stop this video. Like I said, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to cut some vinyl stickers, figure out, figure out what we're going to do on here. And then go from there. All right. So next, while the tumbler is turning and it's curing or drying, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into LXI. I already made some vectors of some some pictures that she wanted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop those pictures into LXI so that I can cut them with my cutter. And then we'll once it dries, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna stick them on there and move them around. Look how look to see the different ways it's gonna look. And then once we're good with it, we'll go ahead and put them on there. All right, so what I did is I took some pictures of the tumbler. I'm gonna put them up on the on LXI, and then we're gonna grab our images so that we could put them on the tumbler to see how it's gonna look as we're working with it. So let's go ahead and get into LXI and check that out. All right, so here we are in LXI. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the folder that I made with these two pictures right here. I'm gonna drop them into LXI. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit so we can get both of them in. And then remember with LXI, you got these zoom in, zoom out, or fit to page right there. So I'm going to hit that one, and it's going to bring it back. All right, so this is two different sides of the tumbler right here. All right, so we're going to bring this switch in here. We'll drop this one in here. There's one of them. And then I have this castle here. We'll drop this castle in here. And then trees right here all right so we're gonna zoom out again as you can see these trees they're all 
grouped together so we select it go to arrange group ungroup all it'll ungroup them so what I want to do now is hit this fill mode button and delete this square now I have my individual pictures click it again and everything will turn back to its original color alright so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom back in bring these pictures down a little bit alright so we're just gonna highlight this with the witch we will zoom it in a little bit make it smaller And again, it's wherever you want to put it if you're doing something like this. We're giving it a shot. And then I can copy paste it over here just to get different views of what it's going to look like. The castle. You can make it big. You can make it small. My plan was to make this bottom piece down here on the bottom a little bit bigger so that it was, there was more blue before it got to black. But it didn't happen, but it's okay. We'll work with what we got. And then we got these trees. We'll throw some trees. These are going to be like around one inch. Around one inch trees. And we're just going to throw different trees all the way around here. Something like that. And then we'll write her name in there. this and then go to your you can highlight it you can highlight her you highlight the name go to design central and then as you click through the names up here it'll show you the different names and the way the the different font and the way they'll look we'll find a font and we'll put it in there it's just gonna be it's gonna be white and for this next part we're gonna be using the vinyl express QE6000 or some of y'all have the graph tech it's the same thing we're going to be using the oracle 651 so let's go ahead and get these stickers cut we'll, we'll get them on the transfer tape and then we'll get ready to apply them to the tumbler all right so we're back I got the pieces cut out here's what we're going to some of the images right here that we're going to be putting on there got a castle some trees and then here's our little witch right here and then i got the moon we cut out the moon and then obviously the witch is going to go over the moon when we get that. And then we did her name in cursive like this. And then here's the tumbler. I've already did a light sand on it from or some really fine sandpaper and you sand it if you could feel any, I guess, air bubbles or glitter that would be sticking out. So here it is. It actually came out pretty good. It came out better than I thought than when we were actually doing it. But now we're going to go ahead. We're going to start placing these stickers on here and then we'll put another coat of epoxy over it to protect these all right so we got all the images on there we got the moon with the witch we got your name on there right yep we got the castle got all the trees and then yep. she wanted some bats right yep all right so we got that done the next thing to do is to go ahead and put another coat of epoxy on it so we're gonna do that and then once that is complete that should finish this tumbler right here what do you think about this tumbler um perfect perfect so Lexi says it's perfect so it's perfect so we've already mixed our epoxy, so we're just going to start putting it on. Wow! It's very beautiful! You like it? Yeah. Wow! It's beautiful! You like it? Yep. Alright. It's very cute. That's good. You like it? I made it for you. Wow. I can't wait to hold it. You're going to hold it soon. Look at it. Now look at it. You can see the bats. They're shiny. Mm -hmm. And sparkle. Yeah, everything has sparkles now, huh? Yeah. It looks super beautiful. You see it? 
This is amazing. I mean, that's amazing. All right, so we just put our last coat of epoxy on it. And while I was mixing the epoxy, we put some crystal diamond, crystal diamond glitter on the inside while we mixed it so that whenever we put it on there, it would be able to turn all the way around it. So with that being said, that's all we could do for now. We just got to wait and let it dry. And then until tomorrow, it'll be dried and it'll be cured and then we can start using it. Look at your, look at your honey castle. Wow. Look at the witch. And the cat. Mm. All right, so here we are day three with the tumbler is now complete. Uh, Lexus. Lexus tumbler with the witch and the moon and the spooky trees. She wanted some bats in there. So this is our first tumbler. You saw like a beginner tutorial on how we did this and what we used while we did this. We were worried when we first started, right? Definitely. We when we first started, it wasn't coming out, and then we just added some extra pink and some black and some colors in there, and then we used the heat gun to spread them around. Then we did the wet sand to get the bumps out of it. And then we put the last coat of epoxy on there to seal in the Oracle 651 decals that we put on there. And then again, if you have any um, advice for us, um, put it in the comments so you know we know how to make it look better. I mean, it does look really good. But like, if you have any ideas or any tips to like make it do look better, we would love to hear from you guys. Yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, leave like she said, leave some comments down below about this tumbler, what we did, and give us some advice on our next one, what to do or not to do when we do our next one. So again, I'm Joe, this is Maddie, Heart and Hustle Printing. All right, so that brings us to the end of another video, and like we always say, until next time, keep pressing.